I wasn't going to show any more of the burn side until I was done, but even though it had appeared to be completely dry, I noticed there must have still been a little bit of moisture in some spots, and it's been in the house. But I noticed if you just touch it, the little flakes of the wood came off. And the reason they did is because the iron had fixed itself to it and when it all had completely dried it just fell off everything that just falls off has fallen off and what i got to thinking about was the barrel so i uh i noticed a couple a big piece right here had had come off as it dried but it's pretty neat because if you go down the wood is still really solid wood the metal that is just build up the barrel is still solid is what I'm saying but my concern is that maybe it's still be a little bit of moisture underneath some of this I'm not I'm not fully convinced there is yet that that may have been just the last remnants but I gently because I know if you put a screwdriver in there and start twisting that it could pop the whole barrel in half. It's a lot more solid than I thought. And I just stuck in the end and started twisting it like a little screwdriver and I'm in. I'm all the way in and that's absolutely amazing to me because I thought it would be full from one end to the other with uh, pebbles and rocks, but it is not. I do not, I not have my normal tools of the trade for this. So I just got what I have sitting around. The one pebble that had lodged in the end was not really a pebble at all. It was just stuff. So the question is, how far how far can I stick a piece of metal coat hanger down into this? My concern was that the barrel would be full of water and everything would be trapped in there and it would be rusting from the inside out. But that's not the case. There is, let me show you, let me wipe this screwdriver off. Okay, there it is, it's kind of clean and dry. If I put it in there and do a little twisty lick, 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 lick like that, it does come out a little moist stuff on it but now that I have the end of it open it should dry out I'm not gonna drill holes in the barrel because pinholes in the barrel won't do anything if it sets up again so I'm going to get a metal coat hanger if I still own one I don't even know if they make them anymore Gonna go ask my bride, and I'm gonna see how far I can get it down in this barrel. This is my only option. It'll work. The entire length of a Burnside carbine is 39 and a half inches. So, what's it? Yeah, that'll be that length, won't it? That'll be that long. So, one problem is I have got to. This was not my plan this evening. My plan was to work on my son's school project. Let me get this straightened out and then we'll get serious. So there, straight enough, right? Thirty-nine and a half inches. So this coat hanger is not that long. This coat hanger go all, should go all the way up to the breech on it. So let's see. How you can hear it in there. Listen. There's the end. So 
So this is the end. Let me straighten that up. Yeah, that's the end. So we went that far and it is moist inside. Let me straighten this coat hanger up again. It's not really a coat hanger. You can hang a coat on. Okay, so it went to here. It went all the way to there and then stopped. So the question is, so there's nothing stuck in the barrel. I'm going to have an x-ray too. Okay, so here's where the breech block opened and fell down into the bottom. So, if there was a round in there and I'm true barrel to breech, it would stop right there. If there was not a round in there, you would think I would be able to run the hanger about that much further. I am that deep. No, that's it. My guess is there's not a round in there at all. I thought I was only to write, you know, there. So my guess is this is an unloaded carbine. I want to do that again, don't you? You can't hear it. I can't anyway. It's depth. So what I want to do is try and figure out Yeah, it's wet in there. Without knocking this thing down, I'm going to put a little tiny hook on the end to kind of pull clumps out if there are any clumps in there. What will be bad is if I put this in there and get it completely stuck, right? Because then it will have a hanger in it. Maybe I don't want to attempt this yet. The last thing I want to do is get stuck right up here on that pebble. It came loose then. If I mess up and tear something up, I just simply don't put this video out and you never know it.
No, I don't want to get this thing stuck in there. I know, I want to sit down in it too. I think it's a... Uh, there's one leftover lonely yellow jacket. Oh, you know what I could put on there? Oh, I lost my mind. I got a gun cleaning kit. Why don't you go get one? Okay then. Everybody's sitting there saying, dude, go get a gun cleaning kit and quit banging on that thing where they, uh, I'm barely touching it. Way right there. What do you think that size is? 40? I don't remember what a burn side is. I'll look it up too. You do it too. All right, I got some stuff. So. Wow, we don't need it that long, do we? Now remember, hang on, I was going to tell you to remember something, but I forgot what I was going to tell you to remember. I think that is it. I gotta find my adapters for this apparatus. I started off with this little short one first. Because I'm I'm a little concerned if I get the big one in there that I won't even be able to get it out. I'm a you know how it folds everything. I do want to put the longer one on there because I want to see what's actually taking place. Let's go all the way. Now. That is a dead stop. I don't know why I didn't just think about this to begin with. Probably because I didn't want thinking about this when I started. There's the end. So this is gonna be official. From here to there. Now, I'm trying to picture it in my head. Yeah, that's definitely a, an unloaded weapon. Because the round itself was about from the tip of that all the way down to probably right here. They're long, really long. Well, the entire shell. Now, so let's check again and see what we've got done now. I want to put the larger one in. 
I'm just a little nervous. This deck that I sealed holds water so well. I'm not gonna do it. That is like a a swimming pool on here now, all the time for the birds, and it will stay there for a long time. So I'll get my blower out and blow it off. That's not really important right now. See, this is awesome to me because now if you, when you hold the barrel, if you point at the railing with your pointer finger on your left hand, then it points to it. I was kind of hoping it was loaded, actually. But it isn't. One good thing about it, it is going to dry on the inside a lot better. That's actually not real wet. It's, it's iron. It's black. Smell it. Isn't that weird? I really thought the whole thing would be full of rocks. You want a better view? I don't want to put it back in water again if I really wanted to get crazy I bet I could knock everything off that barrel and actually blew it again but I'm not going to I did I'm trying to get this thing balanced. Hang on. I did find excess moisture up in there that I got out. So now everything down in here is ready to be to finish the drying process. So that's where we are right now. Pretty cool, isn't it? If y'all are tired of the uh, tired of the uh, burn side. You don't have to watch anymore. I'll just see. Here's what I'm talking about. See this little piece of flake right there? I'm not going to flick it off. Now, the instructions, the destruction, the instructions were clear on the wood preservative SP11. Let it dry slowly. And I did. I mean, I did. This is where this came off simply picking it up I picked it up like that and the thin hat had just eaten itself inside out came off you probably remember that and I know a lot of people said leave all the rocks and stuff on it so you have the memories of how you found it I guarantee you this I'll never forget how it looked when I found it I've got so many pictures and videos it's ridiculous so I'm not going to forget. So we may be 100% at the end. I still didn't want to knock that off. I guess I could. I'm afraid a big chunk of wood would come out. That is Squeaky's cat hair. Squeaky disappeared. Did I tell you all that? There's a big tomcat that got dumped off around here. And I tried to catch it when it was a kitten, but it grew up to be a wild animal. And it attacks my cat my regular home cat and then squeaky the walk up i'm talking about attacks them and jumps on them and tries to actually kill them and i can't find squeaky but rest assured <laughs> i will find that black and white home cat it may be from a distance but i think i'll be able to reach it
I've had enough of that thing. So we think we're done, huh? I think so. The next, I'll, I'm gonna show you. I will show you how I hang this. The uh, the non-rusting stuff worked real good where I sprayed it on there. I'm gonna put a little more into here now that a little bit of moisture's come out. But I think it's ready. Thanks for watching my videos. I thought I was done. I'm not. I'm going to blow out the barrel with that. Then I'll be done. You can stay and watch if you want to, or you can uh, you can go ahead and hit the road or something. And we'll see how it works out. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do for a while. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna blow in there for a little bit and see if I can blow every drop of any type of moisture out. It takes a minute for my little antique compressor to do its deal. I think you're shaking a lot. Let me give you a better grip. Is that a little better? I thought I got that stuck. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. I'll be right here for a few minutes if you have anything you want to talk about. Okay, one more thing. While we're playing around, several of y'all said vinegar takes a long time, but it works. This is vinegar. Cool thing about it is, I think I've got a long time. I'm not 100% sure. Because I don't, I'm putting more in there to simply raise the level. Because I really want those covered. Looks like we're going to need one more. Man, I think we need one more. Those are the oddball ones. That's where the QA program didn't really do a good job on them. So let's take one that's, uh, okay, let's just put those in there. Okay, you can see what they look like now. I'm gonna date it. And if it's really good, I'll date it again. I'm gonna write a date on the top of this. And I'm gonna sit it somewhere, other than right here. And we'll check it, I don't know, next year sometime. Now, thanks for what. oh wait. We got more air, I'll do that by myself. Thanks for watching my videos. But while we're outside, I went ahead and sprayed this with the rust preventative stuff. That's actually wood under there. And now, I got a sycamore chicken. Come on. Where's your friend? Oh, y'all need some more water soon. I just brought some uh, some fall colors. You know, I started feeding them laying pellets, which is what I meant to get the first time. And uh, I know that's a lot of corn. They'll nibble on it a little bit. Yeah, the gray one actually likes them likes it more than the other one. She's a little scared to come outside there right now. What have you been up to? That's just a bucket. Just a ball. What have you been doing? I'm just trying to scratch you a little bit and give you some cuddling. You did it. Not me. I got nothing. You got nothing. All right. Thanks for watching my videos.
really this time thanks i can't stand it one more thing i meant to show you this is that's something i found all this is stuff i found there's little wheel leads and that is an alien that lives on a certain planet that ea jr's got to make a project out of or he's got to make a project of an alien that live on a certain planet so This is kind of the start of it. And I'm thinking that's going to be the head. And it may be it may be too big. It'll stand up. You just got to get it all. You just got to, don't worry about that. You just got to get it all right. Then I'll do it. But when I did it, I said, let's make it dab. So that's what we did. So now we just got to figure out the head. And then we're ready. Okay, now, thanks for watching my videos.